when you have an administration pushing this transgender agenda that is indoctrinating our children, marginalizing the relationship between parent and child, we see this administration working with groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center that target Christian organizations and churches that preach the word of God. Absolutely. So that should tell you all you need to know about this administration and their alignment with evil. And quite frankly, when you talk about who's behind evil, it's the devil. This administration is aligned with yeah. the devil. Biden went down to Georgia. <laughs> He's looking for an election to steal. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. My producer definitely came up with that. But I do need someone out there some brave soul to write the full song of Biden went down to Georgia. So by supporting trans children and places that are against racism and poverty and mass incarceration, you are aligned with the devil now, apparently. Biden lost the fiddling competition. He was not like Johnny. And now he, the devil owns his soul. And that's why we're seeing all the, the transness in the schools. This is what Republicans are doing now. We are creating this dichotomy where Biden is the devil, and then conversely, Trump is Jesus, which is just so unbelievably problematic. But you would be surprised just how many American voters follow this train of thought, which is the main reason why they do it because so many American voters follow this train of thought. Yes. So, Father, we thank you now, Lord, for a great favor. And I pray, Lord, that we will get President Trump will trust in you. Yes, Jesus. God was understanding. I acknowledge you in all his ways, Lord, and I trust you that you will direct his paths. And, Lord, yes, there is a great victory, not only for this nation, but for the world, because of the, the calling and the, uh, that you place on this man. So, Lord, yes. we, we say this in agreement. Uh, right now, and Lord, we thank you that it should be done by our Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. First of all, if you need a team of priests and pastors praying over you, I think you might be a lost cause. If you need like 10 preachers asking God to help you, I think it might, I think it might be over for you. But all jokes aside, it's definitely a, a super normal video not uncomfortable at all with that we're not a cult there's no cult of trump but i suppose when you're really not a very religious person but you're running on a platform where you mostly just want christians to vote for you you have to do performative stuff like this in order to get their attention and make them believe that no 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 just because i held the bible upside down which is a uh, more of a satanic symbol uh no but that's not i'm very christian look uh, look at all these preachers praying over me along with all the other things he does to make sure that christians are voting for him <laughs> I supported school prayer, very important school prayer, which we forced, unfortunately, had to force into some schools. It should be very easy. You would think it would be very easy, but it wasn't, but we did it. Ah, yes. Trump protecting the land of the free, protecting Americans' freedoms by forcing them to pray to one religion in school. Can't take away my freedoms. I'm land of the free, and he's going to protect my fr your freedoms to what? To force other people to bow down to your religion great but sorry <laughs> i'm using logic when it comes to these like unbelievably super far-right christian conservative voters who are all in the camp of trump it's not about logic it's about what they want and then using emotional arguments to try and get people on their side it's never about logic it's never about facts it's about comparing trump to jesus so that people feel like they have to vote for Trump or they're not Christian enough because he's just the new Jesus. The Democrats and the fake news media want to constantly talk about, oh, President Trump is a convicted felon. Well, you want to know something? The man that I worship is also a convicted felon. And he was murdered on a Roman cross. I'm not even remotely joking when I say that these same people proclaiming that Trump is the new Jesus are the same people that would have probably crucified Jesus back in the day. He chased rich people through the street. 
He stood up for poor people. His best friend was a prostitute. They would call him some woke leftist scum. They throw in this comparison constantly of Trump to Jesus and this whole, they're out to get you, but I'm in the way. And as though he's taking all the hits for you. I'm sorry. Have, have you guys committed felonies? No, just him? Okay, then he's taking the shots for his own actions. No one was coming after you for the felonies that Trump committed. Not to mention the blatant racism that is very anti-Christian, if you look at Christian fundamentals from the Bible. But no, but the Christians, the conservative Christians here love that stuff. I will implement strong ideological screening of all immigrants. If you hate America, if you want to abolish Israel, if you don't like our religion, which a lot of them don't, if you sympathize with jihadists, then we don't want you in our country and you are not getting in, right? First of all, if you hate America, why would you want to immigrate here? People don't immigrate here because they hate it. Second of all, we're, we're not Israel. Why do we need to screen them for their opinions on Israel in order to become citizens or get a green card or, or whatever it is? We're, we're not Israel. Also, what are we, what, you have to be a Christian? You have to be a Christian to enter this country now. Freedom of religion, American freedoms, all those ideas. Well, just out the window, huh? Yes, it's all very Jesus-like. But people high up in conservative Christian groups have realized that they can commandeer this situation and they can sort of ride his coattails into positions of power and money. I said, you're going to be president one day. And a tear, I'm not much of a crier. I'm usually much more of a, you know, on fire type of person, but a tear ran down my eye. And I said, but I hate the price that you're going to pay. Little would any of us have ever imagined the price that this man, his family, and many of you, many of us have paid. But I have to ask you something, and I know what he would say. Is the price worth it? Yes. Absolutely. What price did he pay? The consequences of his own actions, other, which otherwise he would not have paid? What? What? price did he pay? It's wild to me how someone can say that to a group of just like layman people and not a single person goes, well, what price did he pay? And if you asked them, they wouldn't know, they would mention that he's being, you know, arrested for the things that he did. That's not a price you pay for running for president. That's a price you pay for committing felonies. But it turns out, if you just say Christian-like things, it doesn't matter. There is, again, no need for logic, no need for facts, no need to question anything, because if you question anything, you don't have faith. Um, you just have to say a bunch of vague, moral, Christian things, whether they're true or not, and people love it. When you look at all of this bad stuff going on, they have nothing to look up to. They have no God. They have no anything. They kill people. They beat people. They push people into subways. They, so, there's just nothing there. Religion is such a great thing. It's so, it keeps you, you know, there's something to be good about. When you have something like that, you want to be good. You want to go to heaven, okay? You want to go to heaven. If you don't have heaven, you almost say, uh, what's what's the, the reason? Here? What's the reason? I don't know about you guys, um, but personally, I don't need a reward of like going to heaven in order to not beat and kill other people. If you need a religion and you need the promise of like, you know, a treat at the end of your life in order to not attack other people, maybe you're just a bad person. I don't attack other people because that I have an inner sense of morality and I understand that's a human being who doesn't deserve to be treated badly. I don't need I don't need God to tell do you guys this is horrifying. Do you guys have like murderous and violent urges? And the only reason you don't follow through on them is because your sky daddy told you not to or you wouldn't get your treat at the end of your life? Also, throwing out there that if you don't believe in the Christian God, then you have no God is 
just wild to assume that uh, any other religion is just fake. Again, very Jesus-like. Anyway, if you're, uh, if you're not a Christian and you haven't pushed anyone in front of a subway car yet today, first of all, how did you do it with no God? Second of all, you should come check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And also, you should check out all of my videos, every single one of them that come out after this video. Uh, just subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified whenever new videos come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.